Hello YouTube, this is North Canada Pepper. Um, today we're going to build a chlorine uh, generator. Basically all you're going to need is a graphite rod, we're going to use a pencil here in this case, and uh, titanium, and over about 5 volts. So I'll use 9, and in the next video after this I'll be actually out using it, and I'll be using a solar power to charge it. But you just need titanium wire, it doesn't matter how thick, and basically we're going to coil it around the, the pencil and it's going to do a, basically electrolysis and um, it's going to generate chlorine so with a little bit of salt most water has salt in it anyway so you could just stick it in there and just be a matter of time but I'm going to put extra salt in mine a couple shakes from the salt shaker in like a shot glass and do it there and generate my chlorine and then put it or my bleach same thing really and then pour it into my water to swirl around so it'll take a few moments but this will be good for hiking and backpacking and uh, once I get the unit built I'll probably put it inside a, an old sharpie marker one of the big ones or a highlighter case and that way I can just submerge the whole thing down there because this is going to be a little bit fragile um, so let me um let me go ahead and get this built and I'll show you how I've done it it's very very simple we're just going to coil the titanium around the pencil and uh, half of it this way so I can wrap it around and um, it won't actually touch the graphite here. Uh, use a voltmeter to check it for continuity because it will break easy if you're not careful when you're cutting it. So I'll be right back and uh, I clipped the top here just to snip the alligator clips on there to make things a lot easier for this video but in the original, or not the original, the, um, the finished product this is just a prototype, but the finished product will have, um, will have this all sealed up and everything and permanently attached and I'll have this suspended with probably a food grade silicon inside there except for where the coil is exposed and then I could just stick it down in the water but let me go ahead and get this built and show you how it works and I'll be right back alright so here it is set up ready to go I just have to smerge it in the electrolyte in this case it will be uh, salt water I'm going to add a little extra salt to it to get it going. And um, that's basically the coil. Uh, it's not touching the, uh, the graphite. And I got it just snipped around there in the back. And I've got, I just got the alligator clip on there. And I'll make something permanent when I'm done with the prototype so I can take out this week and we'll go camping. But that's basically it. That's the whole thing. Um, doesn't touch, but it's in there. So let me put this in some water and um, see if we can generate some chlorine through electrolysis or electrochemistry. I'll be back. Okay, this is uh, tap water that's been set out so there's no smell left in it. There's no chlorine so it's, it's below detectable amount. There's four shakes from the salt shaker in there. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. And uh, see if we can get some electrolysis going here. I'll try to anyway. Uh. Okay, it's begun. Use them a little more for you guys. As you can see, it's running. My wife's all impressed. I am. It's so cool. Alright, now, since I put so much salt in this, now tomorrow I want to do the next video, I'll try to get tomorrow, I'm going to have some chlorine test strips so you know I'm not just crazy here. And this only works, well there is other combinations that will work with, but I don't have the math worked out for those. I'll put some math in the video in the next one. Uh, can you smell that? Let's see if it smells like chlorine. Okay. Oh wow, it does smell like chlorine. Alright, let's let it get a little stronger. There we go. Um, I believe the threshold detection is five parts per million. But like I said, I'll just run this in a little shot glass here like this. And then I'll pour that in the container because right now there's too much salt in here. And I'll let it diffuse. The solution of pollution is dilution. But so I'll let that diffuse and do it here. I can just generate it real quick. If you let this go too long, it'll be too much chlorine, too strong. This is why your bleach in your in your preps, if you let it set too long, it turns back into salt water. This is reverse. So 
depending on how much salt and how much voltage is, how fast this will convert to chlorine. Um, so let's just let this run for a little bit. Let me put my hand over. I shouldn't have had her sniff that. Uh, put her hand over it. We put the um, negative or the positive lead goes to the graphite, and the negative lead goes to the titanium. If you do it backwards, you'll electronically color your titanium. Like when you buy titanium from like the camping store, sports, and stuff like that, that's set up for different colors. That's based on how much voltage is run through it. So you can turn up the voltage and color it. I didn't want this to color. Um, depending on how much voltage, I don't know what it is to turn it to. To a color but certain voltages do that but this is how I got this set up right now and there's chlorine so that's basically the reactor or the uh, chlorine generator very simple electrolysis like I said I'll do a chart up here I'll put the information in the video information about how long versus how much because pretty much every every water in nature has some salt content in it and you could do it that way but I'll just carry a pinch with me but this is how you do it, and the titanium is not consumed in the reaction, so this will last you, you know, forever. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put this thing on solar power and try that, and will be more voltage. So, voltage plus salt content equals the time. Uh, like, ocean water would probably go at 12 volts, or probably go in like 20 seconds for this amount. to be a strong chlorine, so we'll see. But this is it, and I've talked too much in Babel. That's the theory. This is it working. Um, I'll build a unit tomorrow, and I'll show you, and I'll be back tomorrow. So, it's North Camp Prepper. Please rate, subscribe. Yeah, it's starting to burn my nose. <laughs> All right, have a great day. North Camp Prepper out.